This is the first ever block of rail seats in the United Kingdom, installed by Furco Seating Systems here at Ashton Gate in Bristol. This small block of three rows will be used to demonstrate the versatility of Furco's rail seat product. Widely used in Germany's Bundesliga, rail seats, with the rail integrated into the frame, provide exceptionally safe accommodation for standing fans, and on other occasions can be used as seats in order to comply with the relevant regulations. So what's involved in converting a block of conventional stadium seating into a rail seat block? To find out, we got up at the crack of dawn to watch Furco's fitters do just that. This is how the area being fitted out by the team from Furco Seating looked before Furco's fitters began the rail seat installation. The first part of the rail seat installation process was to remove the existing seats, to leave a bare concrete blank canvas ready for the installation to begin. Incidentally, this concrete at Ashton Gate is 20 years old, during which time it's been continuously exposed to the elements. Each of the Furco rail seats are individually constructed with their own integrated handrail. The installation commences with careful measurements to ensure the correct height and spacing. In this case, 500 mm centers. For future installations, 460 mm centers will be available as well. Once this is completed, the first holes are drilled into the concrete step and the fitting begins. Using heavy-duty reinforced drill bits to cope with any internal concrete reinforcements, the holes are then aligned with the rail seat and secured using M10 95mm through bolts. The bolts have a hot-dipped galvanized finish to match the rail seats and to better withstand the weather. Based on the quality and geometry of the concrete, Furco's engineers will choose the appropriate anchor and fixing combinations to ensure that they achieve a stable result over the long term. The installation at Ashton Gate incorporates three different heights of handrail. One of 1,100 mm, one of 950 mm and one of 800 mm. The reason for this is to promote debate and discussion on the best and most appropriate height for the rails in British Stadia going forward. 1,100 mm is the required height on current conventional terraces that are designed to hold back up to eight rows of standing supporters, while 800 mm is the current requirement for a parapet rail at the front of a grandstand upper tier. With no need to hold back eight rows of fans or to arrest the forward momentum of a supporter stumbling down a stairway head on into the rail, 1,100 mm is perhaps unnecessarily high for rail seats. Would 800 mm be better, or perhaps somewhere in between? The demonstration block at Ashton Gate in Bristol is designed to help safety experts decide. Each rail seat, when down, takes up the same lateral space as a standard seat, and when locked upright to accommodate standing fans, fits flush between the 50mm uprights. The rails are designed to withstand a horizontal loading of 2 kN per metre, which is way in excess of the Green Guide specifications. Once the actual drilling and individual rail seat placement has been completed, Final checks are performed and the securing bolts tightened. And there we have it, the first ever block of rail seats in the UK, fitted by Furco's three-man team in just a few hours. Rail seats, they're robust, versatile, and as we've seen, easy to install. Now what time's kickoff?